Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your continuity to support the work of this channel. Now, behind the scenes details why Msalia Mdavadi has been skipping key functions attended by DP Rigadi Gashagwa. Before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a visitor, please subscribe to this channel. Ensure that you put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much because of the great job that you're doing toward the analysis of this channel. Don't forget to like this video. Now, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Mr. Musaliam Davadi, is not a very comfortable man especially around DPT Rigadi Gashagwa. According to the reliable sources, the clashing roles of Musaliam Davadi and Rigadi Gashagwa is not sitting well with the Mulembe son who was convinced that he would be running the show in the Kenyan, uh, Kenya Kwanza government. Those close to Mudavadi are reportedly disappointed because they were confident that this position will be equal that of the former Prime Minister Raila Muludinga, complete with fully vanished office opposite that of the President. And this is how William Samaruto described why appointing Musali We have again the other very important position, and that is the position of the Prime Cabinet Secretary. And I have appointed my brother, Wycliffe Musalia Mudavadi, into that office. That office is probably the most senior office after the office of the President and Deputy President. And I have set out functions for that office. He will assist the president and deputy president in the coordination and supervision of government ministries and state departments. In liaison with the ministry responsible for interior and national coordination, oversee the implementation of national government policies, programs, and projects. Number three, he will chair and coordinate national government now, legislative... Sunday, Musali Amudavadi was missing from Ruto's Muranga tour with the Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa. The two leaders, a very senior Kenya Kwanza, attended the prayer function, but the ANC party leader was missing in action. Well... According to the report that we are getting from the Sonko News, is that now there is something wrong when it comes to Mdavadi is not very happy with the reports revealing that the present office where Gashagwa occupies is at the center of the bond of contention. Being an aggressive politician, the no-nonsense Mr. Rigadi Gashagwa hurriedly stepped his authority on Musalia Mudavadi as he took over the office at the Arambe Annex at time when President William Somaruto went to the United States after being sworn in into the office. Regarding through his official social media, Handel shared photos where he had met a number of dignitaries from the United Nations in his office. I, I want to say that this is what uh, Rigadi Gashagwa said after meeting these UN dignitaries. This is what he said. He said, I was happy to receive Miss Hannah Tete, the special envoy of the UN Secretary General of the Horn of Africa, who called on me at my office in Arabe Annex. I assured her together with the delegation that accompanied her of Kenya's commitment to peace and stability in the region. And that is what the Gadi Gashagwa said after occupying the office 
of the DP2 president. And according to uh, uh, what I have read, it was evident that the deputy president was communicating to Davadi to, for to forget about stepping his foot at the Arambe annex as per what we were being told according to the news. That Musaliam Davadi was the one to occupy the office of the deputy president and it was going to be renovated. What had been going uh, around that Mr. Rigadi Gashagwa had been allocated to floor at the office of the president and he would have to let go Ruto's former office to Musalia Mudavadi who is likely to be the prime cabinet minister. As a result, many Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa followers are convinced beyond reasonable doubts that the son of um, the son from Lembe Nation, that is Musale Mudabadi, may be registering his displeasure respectfully by boycotting some of those public, of course, events. And ladies and gentlemen, something that has come out very clear is that Musale Mudabadi is not a comfortable man. Why? Because when he was being appointed, William Samaruto came out saying, that Musalia Mudavadi was the third in command. That the first in command was the president himself, the second in command was Rigadi Gashagwa, and the third in command was Musalia Mudavadi. Whatever happened in between, we don't know. Because at the immediate where Musalia Mudavadi was appointed, the information that we were receiving was that Musalia Mudavadi was going to occupy the office of the deputy president in annex. What happened was that Rigadi Gashago hurriedly uh, occupied the space and this was a signal that he was signalizing Salem Mudavadi that look, this was the office of the deputy president according to the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, even furthermore, you can confirm throughout what has been happening recently after this cabinet minister was sworn in, including Salem Mudavadi. You've seen many cabinet ministers are now going across the Republic of Kenya trying to deliver their mandate according to what they are mandated to. I've not seen anywhere Musalem Davadi walking around in the prospect of delivering his duty. One thing that I've seen just only is that uh, now William Samruto is so concentrating working with Rigadi Gashagwa more than Musalem Davadi. When he was being appointed, Musalem Davadi was told that, look, you are going to uh, help President and um, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa in the office. It means that in terms of what we look at, the scenario that Musale Mudavadi was going to be senior in this government, it seems like Musale Mudavadi is like other cabinet ministers. No difference. Because whatever he's doing, he's just keeping quiet. He's not, uh, he has not been seen anywhere going across the Republic of Kenya. The only thing that I saw was that Musalia Mudavadi was meeting certain foreigners in his office that is next to railway stations. So the truth has come out that Musalia Mudavadi is nothing in this government. And I want to repeat, Musalia Mudavadi is nothing. And that is why there is a certain suspicion coming towards the so close allies of Musalia Mudavadi, thinking that whatever is being, uh, is being done towards Respecting Musalia Mudavadi towards the seat that he has been given, it is not so much reliable to what they were promised. So it is just empty bucket. So ladies and gentlemen, perhaps that is my opinion. I don't know what your opinion entails. You can give your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. If you are a visitor, please ensure that you subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much because of great support towards the analysis of this channel. Please don't forget to like this video. Bye bye till you meet on another video.